Russian ballet, French, ballet russe, is a form of ballet characteristic of or originating from Russia. Topic: <inaudible> Imperial Russian Ballet. Until 1689, ballet in Russia was non-existent. The Tsarist control and isolationism in Russia allowed for little influence from the West. It wasn't until the rise of Peter the Great that Russian society opened up to the West. St. Petersburg was erected to embrace the West and compete against Moscow's isolationism. Peter the Great created a new Russia which rivaled the society of the West with magnificent courts and palaces. His vision was to challenge the West. Classical ballet entered the realm of Russia not as entertainment, but as a standard of physical comportment to be emulated and internalized an idealized way of behaving. The aim was not to entertain the masses of Russians, but to cultivate a new Russian people. Empress Anna, 1730–1740 was devoted to ostentatious amusements balls, fireworks, tableaux, and in the summer of 1734 ordered the appointment of Jean-Baptiste Landé as dancing master in the military academy she had founded in 1731 for sons of the nobility. In 1738, he became ballet master and head of the new ballet school, launching the advanced study of ballet in Russia, and winning the patronage of elite families. France provided many leaders such as Charles Didelot in St. Petersburg 1801 Jules Perret and Arthur St. Léon In the early 19th century, the theatres were opened up to anyone who could afford a ticket. A seating section called a rayoc, or paradise gallery, consisted of simple wooden benches. This allowed non wealthy people access to the ballet, because tickets in this section were inexpensive. One author describes the imperial ballet as unlike that of any other country in the world. The most prestigious of the ballet troops were those attached to the state supported theatres. The directors of these companies were personally appointed by the Tsar, and all the dancers were, in a sense, imperial servants. In the theater, the men in the audience always remained standing until the Tsar entered his box and, out of respect, after the performance they remained in their places until he had departed. Curtain calls were arranged according to a strict pattern, first, the ballerina bowed to the Tsar's box, then to that of the theater director, and finally to the general public. <laughs> Ballets Russes By the early 1900s the Russian ballet went beyond its borders and infiltrated Paris. It had become its own force and was distinctly Russian, while still being embraced by the Parisian society. In 1903 Ivan Klustin, a Russian dancer and choreographer who had started his career at the Bolshoi Theatre, was appointed maître de ballet at the Paris Opera. Clustine's hiring promoted a frenzy of questions about his nationality and choreographic agenda. His hiring was thought a direct attempt by the opera to imitate the Russian company, even he thought as much, maintaining, not without despondency, that inspiration too often came from the north, a revolution. A method that people often apply in the country of the Tsars, Clustine, although acknowledging his nationality with pride, harbored none of the revolutionary intentions that some thought an inevitable consequence of being Russian. The Parisians, while denying adoption of the backwards Russian troupe, had distinct Russian influence in their theater. Despite Clustine's protestations, several features of the opera's post-1909 ballets, along with its institutional conventions and balletic policy, appeared to betray a Russian influence. The stigma of Russian brutality and force was applied even in Paris. While their style was not only being accepted in Paris, but implemented in Paris theatres, the ballet's russes were still considered dangerous, even in the theatre of performing art. The ballet's russes, at base, became a metaphor for invasion, an eternal force that could engulf and control, could penetrate the membrane of French society, culture, and even art itself. The embracing of Russian ballet in the Paris society became a point of contention, and French nationalism collided with Russian determination. Questions arose about the Russian intention in the Paris theatres under the title Cultural Politics, including the delimitation of boundaries, the preservation of identity, and the nature of relational engagements. Russia was incapable of simply bringing Russian culture to the West, but created a paranoia of intentions wherever they went. In the beginning, the relationship between Russia and France through the arts was a testimony to their political allegiances. French critics acknowledged a shared choreographic heritage. French ballet had migrated to Russia in the 19th century, only to return, decades later, under the guise of the ballet's Russes. 
The company, then, moored in a history that intertwined both nations, not only contributed to a cultural program of exchange. The Ballets Russes were a testament to Franco-Russian cooperation, goodwill and support, they represented un nouveau resserment de l'alliance a further strengthening of the alliance, however, the relationship made a negative turn when duplicity amongst the alliance arose. While Russia continued to borrow money from the French banks, the Russians no longer interested in supporting French culture and colonial politics, this duplicity gave fuel for the paranoia and lack of trust we see in the relationship concerning the arts. The Parisian press spoke of the ballets Russes in terms of both enchantment, bouleversement and fantasy, yet they also invoked metaphors of invasion, describing the company's Parisian presence in terms of so onslaught and conqui conquest. The dual-faceted relationship can be seen in this expression of both enrapture and contention. One French journalist, Maurice Lefebvre, called on his fellow Parisians to see the reality of the Russian invasion as though it was an infestation. We need to do some soul searching and ask whether our guests are not about to become our masters. To imply that Russia was about to take over France through performing arts seems to be irrational, but evidence would suggest the fears were real among those in Paris. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Ballet companies. The first ballet company was the Imperial School of Ballet in St. Petersburg in the 1740s. Sergei Diaghilev, 1872–1929, an enormously important figure in the Russian ballet scene, founded the ballet company Ballets Russes in the 1909. Diaghilev intervened in every aspect of ballet, direction, production, lighting, scenery, and performance. He headquartered his ballet company in Paris. A protégé of Diaghilev, George Balanchine, founded the New York City Ballet in 1948. Today, the Kirov Ballet Company now known as the Mariinsky Ballet and the Bolshoi Company are two world-renowned Russian ballet companies that tour the world. Mariinsky Ballet formerly Kirov Ballet Bolshoi Ballet Other Russian ballet companies include, Ballets Russes, founded in 1909 Moscow State Academy of Choreography, commonly known as the Bolshoi Ballet Academy, founded in 1773 Vaganova Academy of Russian Ballet, founded in 1738 as the Imperial Ballet School St. Petersburg Eifmann Ballet, founded in 1977 Mikhailovsky Theater Ballet, founded in the 1930s Perm Theater Ballet, founded in 18 1996 Novosibirsk Theatre Ballet, founded in 1945 Russian State Ballet of Siberia, founded in 1978 A number of companies have been called, or included in their name, Moscow Ballet. Topic methods Several methods exist in Russian ballet. The most widely used is the Vaganova method, named after the ballerina and teacher, Agrippina Vaganova. Topic Notable dancers Many Russian dancers have gone on to reach worldwide acclaim. Notable Russian dancers include Topic Notable Russian ballets The Pharaoh's Daughter 1862, The Little Humpbacked Horse 1864, Leroy Candelay 1868, Don Quixote 1869, La Bayadere 1877, The Sleeping Beauty Ballet 1890, The Nutcracker 1892, The Awakening of Flora 1894, Swan Lake 1895, Raimonda 1898 Harlequinade 1900, The Firebird 1910, Romeo and Juliet 1940, Cinderella 1945. Topic C also Mariinsky Ballet Bolshoi Ballet Vaganova Method The New York Ballet Institute Glossary of Ballet Terms Topic References Topic Bibliography Anderson, Jack, 1992. Ballet and Modern Dance, A Concise History. New Jersey, Princeton Book Company. Andre, Paul, Arcadev, V. 1999. Great History of Russian Ballet, Its Art and Choreography. 1999. Caddy, Davinia, 2012. The Ballets Russes and Beyond, Music and Dance in Belle Epoque Paris. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Cross, Samuel H. 1944. The Russian Ballet Before Diaghilev, Slavonic and East European Review. American Series 3.4 1944-19-49 in JSTOR Curtis, Glenn E. Ed. 1996. Russia: A Country Study. Washington: GPO for the Library of Congress. Homans, Jennifer. 2010. Apollo's Angels: A History of Ballet. New York: Random House. Johnson, Alfred Edwin. 1913. The Russian Ballet. Houghton Mifflin. Online LIFAR. Serge. 1954. 
A History of Russian Ballet from Its Origins to the Present Day Hutchinson Lobenthal, Joel, 2016 Ala Osipenko, Beauty and Resistance in Soviet Ballet Oxford University Press Norton, Leslie, 2004 Leonide Messine and the Twentieth Century Ballet McFarland Propert, Walter Archibald, 1972 The Russian Ballet in Western Europe, 1909–1920. B. Blom Rislavlova, Natalia, 1966. Era of the Russian Ballet, New York, E.P. Dutton and Co., Inc. Surat, S., E.I.A., and E.I.A., Surat, S., 1990. Soviet Choreographers in the 1920s, Duke Univ Press, 1990. Wiley, Roland John, 1990. A Century of Russian Ballet, Documents and Accounts, 1810 1910, Oxford University Press, Willis Arino, Peggy, 2002. Agrippina Vaganova (1879–1951: Her Place in the History of Ballet and Her Impact on the Future of Classical Dance), Lewiston, New York: Edwin Mellon Press. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> External Links. Russian Ballet. Russian Ballet Company. The Pennsylvania Academy of Ballet, a Vaganova Method School. BBT, School of Russian American Ballet in Brooklyn, NY, USA The Russian Ballet Academy of Indiana, a professional Vaganova method school Russian Ballet Today, Who's Who in Russian Ballet, a professional community website with discussions, video channel, photos etc.